Welcome again. Right now we're at John chapter 20, verses 19 through to 29. This is where Jesus visits his disciples after the resurrection. And we also talk about Thomas. Verse 19, when therefore it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, that would have been Sunday, and when the doors were locked where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the middle and said to them, Shalom Aleichem, peace be to you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples therefore were glad when they saw the Lord. Wow, I would be too, I'm telling you. Jesus therefore said to them again, Shalom Aleichem, peace be to you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Now, uh, this is a very, very interesting portion of Scripture here. He breathed on them. He breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. You know, if pastors did that today, if evangelists did that today, you know, blowing on people, saying receive the Holy Spirit, what would people say about that? But Jesus did this. He blew on people and said receive the Holy Spirit. Verse 23, if you forgive anyone's sins, they have been forgiven them. If you retain anyone's sins, they have been retained. This here is another very powerful verse. Now, it's Jesus is giving power to the disciples to forgive sin. That's what it is. I mean, you never hear this preached in church, but he said to his disciples, you know, if you forgive sins, basically they're forgiven. If you don't forgive their sins, then they're not forgiven. Verse 24 but Thomas, one of the twelve, called Dynamis, wasn't with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Well, he is kind of a challenging disciple, isn't he? Verse 26, after eight days again, his disciples were inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, the doors being locked, and stood in the middle and said, Shalom Aleichem, peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, reach here your finger and see my hands. Reach here your hand and put it into my side. Don't be unbelieving, but believing very important to realize when you say things, Jesus can be right there listening to you, even though you don't even see him. Wow. Verse 28, Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, because you have seen me, the Textus Receptus adds Thomas, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. That's us. Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. We have the privilege of reading the blessing that Jesus actually blessed with his own mouth. His blessing upon us personally. And as you go your way, may the blessing of Yeshua be multiplied to you. May his spirit show you great and mighty things as you call upon him. And as you seek him, you will find him. May his presence be with you in the name of Yeshua.